Hey everybody, I'm back again. I know this is still a different video. Let me turn your fixture here. Okay, that way you can see my spices back there. <laughs> um, okay, I'm trying something. I've tried this brand before, but I am not really sure, but this meal is a little different. This is a TV dinner, okay? Um, this is Marie Callender's Country Fried Chicken and Gravy, and it comes with a breaded white meat chicken patty with creamy mashed potatoes and home style gravy with corn this is what it looks like okay so i'm gonna open it up and i'm gonna tell you this is what it looks like inside of the uh packaging um things i don't like about this is like these tv dinners I like my mashed I'm not picky with my food, you know, I don't care what touches. But with this, when I want to cook it, it's like the chicken's always on top of the potatoes. I love my potatoes. My potatoes can be on the side, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Anyways, we're going to do this. Okay, so I'm going to have a hard time seeing this. I did read it before, so we're going to go through together and see what we got to do. Okay, here's the ingredients. Not the ingredients, the directions. Okay, for microwave. So I'm going to put this in the microwave. That's where I'm putting this. So uh, the reason I'm putting it in the microwave is because I don't have a stove yet. So And plus, they usually put TV dinners in the microwave anyways. Um, I grew up on these in the 90s. These were my things. But they have amped up their uh, <coughs> TV dinners. They have gotten more stuff. They even, they even got Hungry Man. Hungry Man's good. Those you have to cook in the oven. You have to. Because microwave, they're not going to be the same. Oven makes them taste a hell of a lot better. All right, so this says here, cut slits into uh, film. So let me get a uh, knife. All right, so I'm going to cut slits like that. You know, I know everybody's freaking out. Carly, don't stab yourself. Yeah, I was thinking that too when I was doing it. <laughs> All right, then you put this in the microwave for... Four and a half minutes. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to stick this in the microwave for four and a half minutes and we'll be back. Okay, I'm going to go. Oh, damn. I'm going to go. I got to wipe down this counter. I'm going to go get the, uh, what's it called? The TV dinner and bring it over here. I'll, you can see me do it. Leave that open. Okay, I don't know if you can see. I wish I could tilt this down. But this is what I have. So you have to peel it back. Let's see, can I bring you guys back farther? Okay, there we go. you got to peel it back like this. Do not take it all the way off. Then you've got to stir it up. Okay. you got to stir this up. So I'm going to move my chicken this way and kind of push like the the potatoes this way more okay and I don't mess with the potatoes I just kind of stab them stir up your um, corn and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some salt and pepper in my corn and on the potatoes okay just a little bit I don't really season this up that much cover it back and then you do next put it in the microwave either for one and a half minutes or two and a half minutes I'm gonna do two minutes just kind of round it off a little bit maybe to make it sure we'll do two and a half I might thought my microwave is a thousand watts so we'll be back Marie calendar cool that worked I Check my settings for my camera. All right, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I don't want to help talk. All right, so I'm taking off my thing. I'm gonna review this. I gotta keep this out so I can write down the name for it before I throw it away. Okay, I get my pop, of course. You guys know I have to have my Pepsi. All right. So let's see. The only thing I worry about this is um, with like meat. There's only certain meat in TV dinners I'll eat. I won't eat like their Salisbury steaks because I've had a couple times where these little itty bitty bits of something in it. I don't know what the hell it was, and it made it made me nauseous. 
the whole meal went bye bye. I'm very leery about this, but I will still eat it. I'm afraid I might get hard parts because the patty, no fat, but a hard part. I don't like that. But so let's get some of this gravy on top here. All right, let's try this chicken first. Smells like, smells like it wanted uh, compressed patties, you know, those fake, I wouldn't say fake, but I would say like maybe extra parts that they don't need kind of deal. Um, I smell the gravy. Gravy smells pretty good. Okay. The meat by itself is kind of chewy. Not chewy. How do I describe it? Not chewy, but easy to easy to chew. It's not hard. It's not rubbery. It's not that. It's actually easy to chew. And the the um, gravy has great flavor. It really does. It has great flavor. Take another bite. It is good. It's got great flavor. Now the potatoes with the gravy, of course. That's what it looks like. The potatoes. Ooh, that was hot. Okay, the potatoes alone are like kind of um, they're like watered down they're not thick it could be because I mixed it with the gravy I mean I'll try it without the gravy let's try it without the gravy but with the gravy it's kind of watery uh real thin not thick and creamy and you know stuff like that this is without the gravy um about the same same that's about it it's just the same fiasco um, now the corn, you can't go wrong with corn. The corn just probably tastes the same. I already mixed it up and everything else. So here's some corn. It tastes like frozen corn to me with no seasonings on it. Gotta grab my salt and pepper. Needs a little more salt and pepper, trust me. Because that little bit I put on there wasn't nothing so all in all this is just something quick and easy for like when you don't feel like cooking or you just want you're by yourself or something you know um, or your kids already ate you fed your kids or whatever and you just don't want what you made them and this is something you you know quick and easy or you're waiting for somebody to uh, cook dinner that they're saying they're, they're cooking dinner and you're hungry right now but they'll cook later um, that's what's happening today. We're having tacos today for dinner, so honestly, this is my lunch, and this is going on around 4.30 in the afternoon, um, on Monday, so this will be up on, t on, this will be up today for Tuesday. Um, this was filmed yesterday. So anyways, this, uh, it's just a quick thing to eat. I mean, I like TV dinners. Um, I've gotten so sick of them throughout the years because that's all I would eat. Now I know how to cook. But I even got some for the boys. Sometimes the boys don't eat them. Jax is not really a TV dinner type of dude. Uh, he tried like one and he wasn't happy with it. And it was nuggets and french fries. He actually tried, excuse me, he tried two. Wasn't really happy with it. Um, he's not a TV dinner kid. So that's about it. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to finish my meal in peace. Somebody messaged me. I got to find out who it is. I can't see that far. I think it's Angie. Um, but I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oops, when you showered.